Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds to 9 o'clock, including news of rising concerns about China. There are more signs China is slowing, with their weakest start to the year for investment growth since 2001, and unexpectedly slow industrial production. This is adding pressure for renewed economic stimulus, just as Pre Premier Li says he wants to avoid such a move. In America, retail sales rebounded in February, inventories rose, both at levels expected, and new filings for jobless benefits hit a fresh three-month low last week, suggesting the US economy is regaining strength after an abrupt slowdown caused by severe weather. Late yesterday, Australia posted a surprising rise in full-time payrolls in February, the most in more than 22 years. That sent the Aussie dollar higher and signaled their economy may be gaining new traction. In Japan, Labor unions said they clinched their biggest raises in years, about $22 a month, following Prime Minister Abe's calls for companies to boost wages to help put the world's third largest economy on a path to sustainable growth. Re-embedding modest inflation is their goal. In Britain, their central bank wants to force lenders to claw back bonuses of misbehaving bankers for up to six years after they have been paid. They have made proposals aimed at preventing industry scandals such as the product mis-selling scandal and libel manipulation. Back here, yesterday's OCR hike in New Zealand has seen three early effects. A rush to fix, which has pushed up swap rates noticeably. The raising of floating rates, which was started by ANZ and then ASB followed, broadening the increases to fixed rates as well. And the currency spiked higher. The market is in transition. If you have an opportunity to fix, you should consider it seriously right now. The wholesale money markets are taking the RBNZ seriously that interest rates will rise significantly back to normal on a steady basis over the next two years and they are pricing in the early rises. The opportunity to fix at current low rates will close very soon and the more people that move to fix, the faster it will close. In mid-afternoon trade, the Dow is sinking. US Treasury 10-year bond yields are down to 2.7%. The oil price is down and gold is up. New York and Europe are still worried about the Ukraine. The Ukrainians think the Russians are getting ready to invade, and they're increasingly worried about the China economic slowdown. Our TWI is at yet another record high of 79.9. It topped 80 late yesterday, with the New Zealand dollar now at 85.5 US cents, its highest against the American currency since May, 94.4 Aussie cents, and 5.25 yuan, its highest also against the Chinese currency since May. The higher currency is clearly a surprise for Graham Wheeler. He thought the OCR hike was fully priced in. However, he also said we'll just have to live with a rising currency. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.